Amma, do animals hug and snuggle? Do they make each other feel better? That's a good question. Let's find out. Well, the, these prairie voles, they're, they're about the size of hamsters and they have short tails. So they're brown and furry. Huh. Smaller That's... than a rat and bigger than a mouse. Hmm. So it's like a hamster. Yes, it's like a hamster. Uh, so in these little hamster-sized rodents that form families, just like our own families, uh, we discovered that, for example, if the mom goes off and has uh, a stressful day and comes back, the dad will uh, go up to her and uh, give her the equivalent of a hug in voles. You know, licking and grooming, we found that it makes them less stressed. And we see that, that when the dad grooms the mom, uh, it makes her stress go away. Um, so do we know why it makes them feel better? Well, one reason that we know that grooming and hugging in people causes the release of oxytocin. Oxytocin is a chemical that's made in the brain that we know is involved in helping people make connections with other people. And oxytocin is known to release, relieve stress and uh, maybe make people feel better. It's released when mamas talk to their uh, children. It's released in the children. So it's released by hugs and touching and things like that. So uh, we think it helps make people feel calm and happy. What, do, you, do you ever feel like that, Nina? When do you feel kind of calm and happy? And... When people snuggle me when I feel I'm sick. Yes, I think snuggling would make oxytocin be released too. Yeah, and well, anything else that what makes you happy when you're when Gishov jumps on top of me and hugs me. Yeah, when your brother when your brother jumps on you. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, it makes me giggle. We and, found that it's not just moms and dads that will do this, but uh, brothers and sisters will do it to each other, and even friends. So it's. Um, Anytime someone gives us a hug, it maybe releases oxytocin and makes us feel better. What other animals do you think might make each other feel better? Pandas, monkeys. Well, we, we don't know about pandas, um, but we do know that chimpanzees do it. Not all monkeys. Uh, rhesus monkeys don't do it. Also wolves, because they live together in groups, in a family structure, and so wolves do it and dogs do it especially if they live in families together and they have to cooperate to do things. Oh, uh, Nina, so if one person in your family isn't feeling well, what happens? Do you notice anything? People just kind of start feeling really sad and just their heads go down. And oh, well, yes, that's right. Yeah, and so in these prairie voles, Dr. Young, you were saying if one member of the family is stressed, it could also affect the rest of the family. That's right. So they have developed this behavior to make sure that anyone who is stressed, rather than stressing out everybody else, they soothe them. So they, mm. they do this grooming to help calm everybody and make everybody happy. This is the first time we've ever seen a little small rodent do it. Thank you. No, I well, thank you for inviting me. It's a nice pleasure to talk to you.